All right, what's up, animators? So today we'll make a walking animation using bones. Bam, bam, there we go. Walk it like I talk it. Or maybe I shouldn't sing songs that I don't have the rights to. All right, I'm gonna pause that. So first, we wanna create this, this right here. So your torso, your arm, forearm, your hands, your leg, your calf, your foot, and you got your head right there. All right, so I'm gonna use the brush tool for that one, this one right here. Brush tool, not this one over here, not fluid brush tool, but this one right here. You can also hit B on your keyboard to activate it. So I'm gonna hit B as in boy or B as in brush and there it is, it's active. Uh, choose a color for your stick figure. Uh, that one I made it red, so I guess I'll make it red here again. And I'm gonna make my torso first. Just hold it on the left mouse button, drag it down. It's not straight, that's all right. And I'm gonna make a head and make sure you have some distance between them. Leave a gap there. We'll, we'll adjust that later. We'll connect them later. We need to have a gap there for now. And I'll make the head up here somewhere. Make a circle. You could also just use the oval tool if you rather make the, the head. Just be aware of the stroke. Use no stroke. Make it look a little neater since we're not using any stroke here. Also, when animating, if there is a stroke there, it's a little trickier to hide the stroke when using an, uh, an armature. I'm going to make an arm right here. So you want to make it either the A pose or T pose. So you can bend the elbow there a bit or you can just make it go straight out like this. There we go. Um, this right here, I'm trying to eyeball it, see how long my arm would be relative to the torso. So it looks like I have a super long arm relative to my torso, so I'll just make my torso a little longer. There we go. And I'll make a hand over here, just make a circle. Maybe you wanna add a thumb in there, something like that. But then you gotta be um, aware of the thumb. And I'm just eyeballing these, assuming they're the same length. This one looks to be a little shorter. There we go. And I'll make a little fist there and a little thumb there. All right. I don't like that thumb too much. Undo Control Z. Let's see. Something like that. All right, there we go. And I'll make a leg right here. Start making a leg. And I think it's too close to the center there, so I'll make it more out here. There we go, leg there and a leg there. So what's longer, your legs or your arms? I don't know, I'm not an anatomy expert. And then the cap over here, cap right there. And then the foot, also make that a little further away. Not too long, but usually out of habit, I tend to make the foot like as long as one of the legs. I don't know if that's the case with you guys, but obviously your foot is not as long as your cap or your thigh. All right, so there we are. I'm gonna go over here to the selection tool and I'm gonna make all of these separate objects here. I'm gonna make them symbols, graphic symbols. So first, I'm going to select the head. I can click on the outline there. I will click it. There's nothing inside of it. I can also just drag, select it. I think it's just easier if I just click on the uh, the lines there, the brush, a paint for the brush. All right. Uh, you can right click it and select convert to symbol, or you can hit F8. And make sure the type is graphic. This one, I'm going to name head. I know it's the head there. Okay. Then this one here, I'm going to name it a torso. I'm going to hit F8. Torso, thorax, abdomen, whatever. Okay. And then, so you have uh, two segments for the arms, right? So I'm going to make this one arm. And this one will be forearm. Uh, the legs, too, there's two segments. So leg and calf. That's what I'll name one. Or maybe you can name one leg and foreleg, whatever, however you want to name it. So I'm going to select that one there. F8. And that's going to be my right arm. So you can do R, L, arm, like that. R for right. Okay, like this one here, F8, R dash, forearm. There we go. And select this one here, F8, R dash, hand. There we go. Okay. And I continue doing this for all of these. Uh, it is recommended you name uh, all, all of your body parts, all of your bones. But this, this is a very um, simple project, so I'm not going to go around naming all of them. So I'm just going to hit uh, select these, F8, hit OK. So like that, F8, okay. So like this, okay. If you do plan on reusing this, yeah, I'll go ahead and name them, but this is just like a one-time thing here. I'm just gonna speed up the process by just naming them there. Oh, already named, already made that one a symbol. There you go. And uh, that's another reason why you should name your symbols right there. <laughs> I made each part a symbol already every segment here of my uh, my character, my stick figure. Now I'm gonna add these green circles. I'm gonna use the oval tool. 
these are kind of going to be handles because later when we bring the armature, it's going to snap to each uh, segment that we have here, each symbol. And these are also going to be separate uh, symbols to help us animate with the armature. So I'm going to go here to the oval tool. If you don't see oval tool there, just hold on the left mouse button and then you get this pop-up menu, select the oval tool there. And I'm going to go with the contrasting color. So I'm going to go with green just so it stands out from the red so it doesn't blend in there. Later, well, I'll show you guys how to hide it when we're done. So I'm going to need one here at the bottom center. This is going to be your main one. It's going to be your parent oval, which is going to be used to move the entire uh, armature. And then I'm going to have one down here for the center part for the legs. Actually, let me undo that. I'm going to convert this one to a symbol, and then I'm going to duplicate it. Selection tool. Here we go. So this is my main one, my parent uh, circle here, my parent handle. So I'm going to hit F8. I'm going to name it handle. Handle, rig, or whatever you want to call it, handle. All right, and that's a graphic. Okay. And now I'm going to duplicate it. Hold on the alternate key, and then drag straight up. There we go. And then my, my original bone is going to start here. It's going to clip there, and it's going to spread out here from the legs and into the torso. And then one for the neck. This will work here for the, uh, the shoulders as well, for the arms. And then I'm going to hold on the alternate key and drag one out over here for this hand. And this will be a handle for this hand. This way the, uh, the bone can snap something. Um, we can snap beyond the hand. Because if the bone ends here, then it's going to be a little harder to animate the rest of the, the arm. So I want the bone to extrude from the hand. That way it makes it easier to animate. Hold down the alternate key and drag one over here. There we go. So for the other hand. And the same concept applies to the feet down here. Hold on the alternate key. Bring one there. Hold on alternate key and bring one there. There we go. All right. So I got that set up. Now to bring in my bone tool. If you do not see a bone tool here in your tools panel, click on these three dots down here by your, uh, your, your color swatches there, your color switch. Click on the toolbar. And it should be in here. See, I just took it out. So click on those three dots and then hold down the left mouse button and you can drag it and you can put it anywhere you want in your tool panel. I'm going to put it right here. There, there it is. So now I have one. So I'm going to click on it. Oh, it's already selected. And you want to start with this bone here. This will be your parent bone. So the bones will have a parent child relationship and a bone will snap to each individual symbol. So currently, all these objects here are symbols and you want to keep them separated. That way, they're easier to. To, uh, to parent there with the bone. So I'm gonna hold down the left mouse button here and then drag up. You can see it there, it snaps, see? It's snapping to, to the sides, the center. I'm gonna snap that one in the center and release. There we go. So parent bone here and a child bone there. And then from here, I'm gonna go out to this leg. I'm gonna snap it to this top part here because you're gonna wanna snap to the center. But we're gonna snap it to the center because if I snap it to the center, it's gonna rotate from the center. I need a joint. It's going to be right here, the hip, my hip joint right there. Then I need a knee. So I'm going to snap it to the top of this one here and not the center. So I don't want it rotating from the center. I want it rotating from here. Pivot it from right there, the knee. And then you need an ankle for your foot down here. It's so right there, that end for the ankle. Oops, didn't get it. Let's see if I get it that time. There we go. I got it. And then uh, your foot has a bone. So that's why this one's here. So we can extrude a bone uh, throughout your foot. Actually, your, um, your, foot has several, your feet have several bones, not just a bone. They have several bones. So now I have the bone going through the, through the foot, and that's what that handle right there helps me out with. So I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. Hit, hit joint there, and then knee joint, ankle joint, and then right here all the way to the center of these uh, handles right here. So these circle ones over here, the handles, make sure it always goes to the center. And then this one, I'm going to put it down here so that way I can bend over. And I got a backbone there. And then I'm going to go right here straight into the neck. There we go. And then for the shoulders, bam, right there. And then for the elbow, I'm going to snap it here. Notice so far, your bone only snaps to one point in your, in your symbols. You cannot snap to multiple points on the same symbol. And there we go. So the area um, in, in most towards the body. So shoulder, elbow, and now right here for the wrist. Hold down left mouse button and drag. Boom. And now I need a bone to go through my hand. And there we go. And the same thing for this side, shoulder, elbow, wrist. If I can move down a bit, no, that's okay. And then all the way through the hand, there we go. And then I need a neck bone right here. If you go all the way up, it's not gonna animate very well. So I recommend just going down here, snapping in the bottom so you can animate. There we go, cool. So I got my, uh, my armature there set up, my skeleton. And now to reposition this so I can connect them. And for that, it's going to be the free transform tool right here. Free transform tool. 
So I selected it, everything's selected right now because my entire armature was selected. Let me click out of there. All right, I'm gonna click on the head one time. Make sure you get the, uh, the four-sided uh, arrow there next to the cursor so you can move around your, your, your symbols here. So not the loop, it's gonna rotate it. I don't wanna do that right now, Control-Z. I just wanna reposition it. So you wanna get the, the four-sided arrow like right now. And I'm gonna bring it in right there into the into the red so if i have it floating there i'm gonna have no neck it's gonna it's gonna be decapitated it's gonna have a floating head so this one over here yeah it's connected right there and that's okay the green circle is there we're gonna hide it later here's my uh my hand or my arm i'm gonna bring it in let me get the four-sided arrow if you're having trouble getting it to appear go ahead and zoom in i'm gonna click the magnifying glass click there and then back to free transform and see if i get the four-sided arrow there it's now i got it and I could have um, my shoulder way up here. I have no neck, but I want a little bit of neck. So I'll put it right there. There we go. And I'll bring this one in here. Connect the elbow there. Bam. And bring the hand in. There we go. Bam. And bring this handle here close to the hand. There we go. I got it way out there, but I want to have it relatively close to it. And now for my other arm. There you go. Assembly required. And then let me go over here to the left. And we'll bring this part in here. Bam. And bam, just holding down the left mouse button and dragging. Now to connect the legs here. Leg there. And leg right there. That you can leave. You can also reposition it, but I'm just going to leave it right there. You can try to put it here in the hip. But it's going to move your bones around. See if I put it there. kind of gets in the way of those bones. Well, it doesn't get in the way. Just visually it's in the way, but it doesn't really affect the, um, the animation later. And right there. And here comes the foot. And the handle there for the foot. And right here, connect the knee, foot, there we go. And then that other handle right here for that foot. All right, these I can leave out here, that's okay. And now, <clears throat> let me go back to 100, keep it at 100, center the stage, there we go. Let me click out of there. Cool, so there we go, I got it connected. A little small gap right there, I'm gonna leave it. That's okay, and that's for my two strokes, the two strokes that I did there with, with the brush. All right, so you just saw me use a free transform tool to move my, uh, my segments around, my symbols there. So you want to pose your bones. That's going to be with the selection tool right here. Selection tool, you can also hit the V, V as in Victor. And I'm going to select this bone right here and R for rotate and check it out. Oh, no, it's disconnecting over there. Undo, there we go. Rotate it from there. And oh, I see what's going on. It's because of the, uh, the green one up here where it's connected to. It's too high. So I'm going to go over here to free transform. I'm going to bring it down to where the uh, the shoulders are at. Let me zoom in a bit. Because this bone, uh, see it's up there. I want this joint to be down there. So I'll select that one and bring it down here since I move the shoulders down. There we go. So now when I animate this uh, arm over here, it won't, it won't do that. There we go. See it's connected to that, to that green handle point right there. Cool. All right. So as you notice here, I move uh, this part here. I can also move this in to move the, the, the arm a lot. And I'll do the same thing over here. And yep, I got to bring this one in. So I, earlier I said not to worry about those, but yeah, I got to do bring those in for the pivot points for the uh, all those bones there. All right, here we go. So selection tool. Cool. And then this one you don't have to worry too much about. This one actually will move your whole, your whole object. will animate your whole uh, armature there. It's your main parent dominant bone. So I'll show you here. It's going to spin the whole thing. There you go. Woo! So depending where you want it to spin from, you would adjust that. So if you want to spin it up somewhere higher, you would move it up there. But it's down here, so it's spin from right there. That's where it's going to rotate from. All right, but I don't like this, um, this leg here. It's too spaghetti-like. So I'm going to make an adjustment here. I'm going to select these bones right here, the ones closest to the torso, including the torso. So I got the two leg bones, the two arm bones, and the torso. And then over here, street object. I should have object activated on the properties panel if you're selecting those. And here's location. Right here, the speed. It's kind of like the weight, how heavy those parts are. I'm going to bring it down to 20%. So try 20 or 15%. And now when you move uh, one of those bones, it won't move as, as, as wobbly. So this one's still a little wobbly, so I need to adjust these next. So the calf bones here and the forearm bones right there. And then I'll bring this down to 50%. So now that I got those at 
I can use selection tool and grab one of these bones here. And it's not so bad, right? Cool. All right, there's more, there's a lot more settings in there, like uh, how far you can rotate it, uh, you can constrain it, but th this is cool, this is good for beginners here. All right, so you wanna decide how many frames you wanna an animate this for. So I'm just gonna go with the 100, right click uh, frame 100, and insert pose. There we go, so I got frames one to 100 for me to animate my um, armature here. Notice there's now two layers. You got a layer there for your armature and your layer one where we created uh, these graphics. They jumped over into uh, armature layer over there after we converted them, uh, after we converted symbols and then added a bone to them. So by adding a bone to them, I put them over here in an armature layer. All right, so I'm going over here to frame one for my original pose. Uh, with the selection tool, I can pose my bones, but I want to move my animation. Sorry, I want to move my whole bones here. Gonna go with the free transform tool. I just clicked on it, selected everything inside of it, and I'll just start my animation with the um, my stick figure there. There we go. Now I'm gonna go over here to the selection tool, and I'm gonna select individual bones and try to pose it. So let me try to create like a a walking animation. There we go. And I'll twist this foot over this way. There we go. Oops. Selection tool. Let me bring this one up. Bend the knee there. Maybe you have this one go down further, like this. Slight bend right there. All right, cool. And then bring this arm down. Rotate that right there. Who's number one? This guy right here. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why that's so funny. There you go. All right, so these thumbs are all weird. I'll just leave it as is. There we go. All right. Uh, so obviously we have these green things here. I will get rid of them later. We're just going to use them for now to help us animate our, our character. All right, so is that frame one? That's how we're going to start out. And I'm going to go over to frame 50 over here. And see, it jumped over forward a bit because the last frame over there is just like our um, beginning pose. So it's trying to meet up to, the, to that pose over there we had at the beginning. So I'm going to 50. And how far do I want to move it forward? I'm going to transfer your transform. You don't want to go too far forward because then it's going to... Um, it's, gonna, it's not going to move smoothly. So I can have it move across the whole stage in 100 frames, but it's going to look like it's sliding. So there we go. I got that pose there. It tries to go up here to the original pose. If I don't want that, I can just click in there, and then right-click it, and cut pose. Get rid of that pose there. There we go. So now the only pose I got there is the beginning pose. So go over to frame 50 right here. Free transform tool. I got the whole thing selected. And I'll move it over to the right a little bit. So you want to try to imagine how far it will travel after extending the leg. So maybe it'll be about right there. All right, try that again. Right there, all right. And then I'm going to go over here to the selection tool and just alternate the pose there with the, uh, with the feet. And I'm going to keep that one bend a bit. And maybe extrude that out. So it is flat. And switch these around. And then you don't have to move these, kind of just stay in there. All right, so see how that looks now. All right, so frame one there, frame 50. So it does kind of look like it's stepping. Cool. And let me adjust this one so it looks a little flatter there. It's like ripping the ground. All right. And see what happens if I bend this one a bit. And I liked it better how it was before. So I'm going to undo that bend. There we go. All right. And then at 100, over here, frame 100, free transform tool. Move it over to the right a little bit. You want to try to eyeball how far it would travel if you made a a full step there and there we go oh. so one thing you can you can try to do it estimated it's a, a gate it's usually like um, three yards right or three feet so I can go here one foot two feet three feet and then you can try to use that as a gauge for you to measure uh, the distance traveled after stepping all right so now I'd alternate these feet here this feet somehow gets shorter than the other one, or was it always shorter? <laughs> and then this one's going to go back a bit. 
There we go. And then I'll train these. That's designed at frame 100. New pose there. Yeah, so that other foot was always longer than the other one there. All right, so I'm hit the loop button all the way and then play button, see how it looks. That's not bad. Cool, got a cool little walk cycle there. <clears throat> all right, so if you like your animation there, you can stick with that. Uh, you don't have to make a walking animation. You can have it flying and you can do all those different poses. All right, so now we got to hide this symbol here. The Our handles here, our green circles, whatever color you guys made them. So I'm going to go over here to the library. Make sure you got you select one right here. Whatever you name that name on handle. Uh, if you didn't name your, your, your symbol there, you just have to click through them until you find it. So there's mine right there. I'm going to double click it and take it to editing mode. There we go, the whole thing is uh, selected there. Uh, here I have the object uh, properties for that object. I'm just gonna reduce the alpha all the way to zero, make it transparent. And then back to the uh, main stage over here. Cool, and there you can't see them anymore. <clears throat> Control enter, bam. You go ahead and it, bam, bam. Going out for a while. All right, I don't like those thumbs, but whatever. I should have not made the thumbs. And here we go, so file save, save as. So I'm going to save this one as a flash file, .fla, so I can go back on it and work on it and animate. And then I'm going to export it out as a video, export video media. And see, h.264, default ame, ame. And yeah, I'll leave it like that. That's all right. I should get uh, an MPEG, uh, an MP4 when I'm done with this, sorry, MP4. And then export, and I have my video. Cool. All right, I got the Adobe Media Encoder right here. Play button. Now you go make it my MP4. And there it is, it's done. So let's check it out. So here's my animation. Boom. I'll walk it out. I'll walk it out. I'll walk it out. Obviously, it's a short animation. 100 frames, three seconds. You guys can make it long. You can have it flying. You can do other stuff. But there you go. Easy as that. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day.